What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I apologize about all the car videos not edited and stuff like that, but I just want to get these done quick while I'm working and kind of put my opinion out there for you guys. I feel like uh, vintage uh, Jet Central with all the car videos, um, but uh, speaking of the Jets, let's talk about Anthony Barr. And he would not sign with the Jets. He's going to stay with the Minnesota Vikings. Now, it, it appears he changed his mind. I don't know what really changed his mind because C.J. Mosley got signed after him. And I thought that would have encouraged him to stay because that they're, they're forming a really good linebacking core and a really good defense over there with the, with the Jets. And they're... The Jets are, are trying to win, man. They're really they're really trying to win. I thought Anthony Barr would like to be a part of that. Uh, he's going to be an, an outside linebacker in the 3-4 like he was in UCLA, as Jets Central mentioned. So it's it's his home. Um, you know, 4-3 uh, is not really where, where he's supposed to be at. 3-4 is, is his strong suit. And so he wants to stay with the Minnesota Vikings. That's... <laughs> That's crazy. The last time I've seen a, a player change his mind during free agency before actual free agency happened, like during tampering season, whatever they call it, uh, was Frank Gore when after he left the 49ers and he was going to join the Indianapolis Colts. Before that, he was actually supposed to join the Philadelphia Eagles. And then during when free agency hit, it, it appeared he changed his mind and then he went to the Indianapolis Colts. That was the only time I've ever seen, I don't know if you guys ever seen a player like that change his mind during free agency so quickly, uh, but that's the only time I've ever seen it. Now, I thought that was just an anomaly, but I guess I guess it's not it's a not so common thing, but other players did do it. I guess they, they go in these verbal agreements and they, I guess they talk with their agent or their family and they come to an agreement that it's just not the right move for them, I guess. But um, that's some crazy news out of the Jets, man. I'm sorry. Jets Central, man. I apologize. I, I mean, I don't know why I'm apologizing. But I'm so, I feel sorry for you, man. I feel That sucks. That sucks. Anthony Barr is a great linebacker. And it would play very well with the Jets in their system. And I, I loved his video on, on how Anthony Barr fits with the Jets. It's just a shame that he changed his mind and wanted to stay with Minnesota. Um... You know, and, and that's a big piece there you're missing. This is not just a ve old veteran player deciding to make a move somewhere else. This is Anthony Barr. I believe he was supposed to sign like a four or five year deal or something like that. So that sucks. He's staying with Minnesota. I guess Minnesota gave him an offer he cannot refuse after the whole Jets situation. Because like I said, it was just all verbal agreements. It's tampering season. People are just making verbal agreements. Nothing is set in stone yet. Nothing is written on paper with a pen just yet until tomorrow it's gonna be a big day tomorrow um so yeah all that being said guys that is the news so far i know i'm a little late with it but i, I didn't have time to make the video until now because i was still delivering packages but um the the podcast is tonight seven o'clock eastern standard time i'll make the uh the live soon so you guys could could uh could join in and wait for me there uh, when i get home i'll make the, i'll make the the little thing that you guys can join in but yeah, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every single Tuesday, the Undrafted Analysts Podcast. Go ahead and join in. We'll be talking about all the free agent, uh, free agent signings and things like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.